Hey there, snack fiends. Adventure Girl here. I'm still on my my jerky snack quest. But you wouldn't believe how many local Pacific Northwest companies have jerky. It's almost like we like eating cow or something. So, this is another product out of Tillamook, Oregon. Werner. Um, family owned company. I love it. So still family owned despite all the arguments. <laughs> I can only imagine. I mean, I love my family and we all have our um, different um, abilities and strengths. And I, I just couldn't imagine working with them day in, day out when you have to make, you know, heated decisions. I can just imagine. I mean, there'd be some interesting, I don't know that there'd be arguing so much as a lot of a lot of lecturing one another that we we're more we're more into that. There'd be some filibusters in my family. But in any case, today I've got the all natural smoked beef chunks with real salt or sea salt and cracked pepper. All right, this is not vegan. Duh, it's beef. I love this. Um, minerally minimally processed, no artificial ingredients. So this is definitely not what you're talking about for your average, you know, grocery store bot. It's got beef, sugar, sea salt, spice, celery powder, garlic, gluten-free soy sauce. Okay, well, there's it's gl gluten-free soy sauce. For those of you who are concerned about gluten, um, you won't be ingesting Roundup from the soy. All natural, all, no artificial ingredients. So let's see, we've got 90 calories per serving, servings per container, 10 chunks of meat. So 10 chunks of meat, so that's not, that's not bad. These are nice little, they're small pieces, but they're thick. So one, one and a half gram of fat, um, 670 milligrams of sodium, but they do say it's sea salt. So this one, you, yeah, this is definitely going to be a high sodium snack. Um, but then again, you may need that out in the woods. If it's hot out, you need to get the salt back in you so that your body can keep the water. So let's see, nice, see, like I said, nice fat chunks of meat. This is almost like a, a fajita size chunk of meat. That might be yummy. Stick these in a fajita. Ooh, that might, sounds good. They smell, they smell nice and peppery. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, it's it's really good. It's a good product. Again, no, not making me lose my mind though. And seriously, my mind's half gone, so it's not gonna take that much to make me lose it. And this, well, it's good. I definitely. It's not overly peppery. In fact, I actually almost wish there was a slight, tiny bit more pepper. They're, they're like 80% there for me. That's my thing. So those of you who are not into the extreme pepper, this is not the extreme pepper. It's pretty salty, though. It's good. Um, I give it a four. I eat this again. This is a good product. So thanks for sticking in with me, folks. I'm not sure if you're here for me or for Bigfoot or for food, but if, if you're here for all of the above, we appreciate your, your continuing to watch the Snack Quest. Pretty soon I'm going to be out in nature when this lockdown is over and uh, going to be checking, finding Bigfoot, maybe snacking with Bigfoot. I'll have lunch with Bigfoot. He's probably a pretty cool guy. I might even braid his hair. So, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to the channel. Please comment any feedback, any snacks in the Pacific Northwest that you think that I would really love to try or that Yeti would really love to try. Yeti and I have different tastes in a lot of things. So that's why, you know, we're both trying these. And uh, I look forward to snacking with you later, folks. Have a great day.